three straight losses have erased any remaining glow from the Oilers' 2-0 start. Now they face their stiffest test yet. The Sharks had five 20 goal scorers last year. They've won three straight Pacific Division titles. Last spring, they made it to the Western Conference Final. The road to the top goes right through San Jose. That's how we maintain speed. Just keep pushing the puck forward, get in behind them, get on your forecheck, stick it right back in the bases. Let's get it done. Here we go, fans. Come on, guys. Good start. Come on, I got one. Let's go. Let's go, Harry. The Oilers start well. That's the way we Good pressure. Get on him quick, guys. And strike quickly. By Whitney, rattles it up the left hand boards. Nice play by Horkoff ahead to Everly. Everly short handed, one on two. He's got a trailer. It's Whitney. He'll take it to the hole. And score! What a beautiful play! Backhand to forehand this time! And Jordan Everly buries his second of the year! Short handed! But maybe too quickly. That's the way, guys. A good high shot, guys. That's it. Just a good job on their five on five. Those hard rims. We're getting to them. That's important that we get to those. First. As the game progresses, the Sharks respond. Elite teams do that. They up their physical game. Cogliano shaking out the cobwebs. Yeah, it was Scott Nickel, and Nickel just flattened Cogliano. And gradually take it away from the young Oilers. You guys, guys, we need new guys. Between periods, Tom Rennie calls for focus and discipline. But his message gets left behind in the dressing room. Another penalty, another power play goal, and one player rides the pine for the rest of the game. You leave, no. When we switch somebody in and take somebody out, it's not a personal thing. And we need to make changes when you've got situations you're not happy with. If we're winning, we're gonna we're gonna generally stick with the lineup. And if we're not, it's uh, it's gonna mean changes. And players have to understand that. He sat eight minutes. See if he reacts. No. You want to find out? I get it. I, I have no problem. Just leave it. Okay. You know, everybody has a, a minor ups and downs during the season. In 82 games, you cannot be consistent all the way through. But his battle level is in the right place. He he comes to compete every night, and uh, and and he'll be back in this lineup. Second half of the San Jose game was not the, the character of the of the oil. We stopped skating, and we need a great team concept to play them all the way through 60 minutes plus, and, and that didn't happen. There is no sugarcoating on Coach Tom Rennie's post-game comments. We've now seen what an elite team can do. Yeah, we've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly as far as the Oilers are concerned now, so we're pretty familiar with that. And uh, we went to school tonight. At least I hope we did. Well, there's the Oilers head coach, Tom Rennie, calling it, as far as I saw it, right down the middle. And even less from the talk show crowd. This San Jose team leaned on the Oilers. Nothing dirty, nothing cheap, nothing out of their way. Patty Marlowe. Ran Jordan Everly almost through the boards. This San Jose team leaned on the Oilers. Beginning of the season, we were teased, but after the last four games, it's like the same team as last year. I think since the power play is not too good, we shouldn't have drafted Taylor Hall. Oh, we yeah. should have drafted Cam Fowler because uh -huh. he can run the power play pretty good. No, I don't think these defense combinations are, uh, they work very well. You're telling me the patience is gone after six hockey games? No, how many years, Dan, have we been going through this? So, all right, if we want to go six games into a three-year process, just ballparking, six games into a three-year process and start ripping her to shreds and losing patience, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to be that guy. The Oilers' bandwagon sounds pretty empty right now. On the heels of the home ice loss to the San Jose Sharks, a three-game road trip 
Maybe just what the team needs. I'm even nervous to pack my back now. I'm on camera. <laughs> Because they barely fit these big skates. That's the problem. Me and my grandma to switch a few bigger ones. Have her knit something special yeah. just for these. Do you have a favorite color you want to make it out of, like a sweater or anything? I think we just got a couple coaches and we're good. First up, there's an early season rubber match with the Flames. For associate coach Ralph Kruger, there are some tricky lineup calls to make on the blue line. Next, you'll be going with Curtis tonight. Foster, how, how do you feel playing the right side? I'm good, I'm good. You're, you're fine with it? OK, good, OK, good. How are you playing right? I don't know. Why? Just curious what, what your past has been like here. I don't know that. On the sturdy laddie pair, what are you thinking? Left, right. We're always going to have two left-handers and one pair, and ideally, on the in the NHL, where things happen very quick and you're limited in time, and pucks are coming up the wall all the time, it's nice to be on your forehand. I only asked you. Yeah, like I was thinking. It, it wasn't was. a threat. <laughs> it, it wasn't a threat. Uh, I, it's, no, no, it's no, kind no, of no. Adjustment, you know, no, 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 no. The only thing is, it's always good to know. I mean, I didn't know whether you had a. I was teasing him a little bit and prodding him whether he was capable of doing that, and he. He said it would be difficult, it would be, you know, the challenge would be hard. I just had a little conversation with Laddie about how often he's played right in his life. And he said, why? I said, oh, I was just curious. I'm Laddie. curious. Laddie, come curious here. about getting to know you guys. Right side? No, first of all, can you skate backwards? Yes, no, I'm like. <laughs> just kidding. I can do it, probably. Let me, let me, let me just make an observation. Yeah. The, the morning skate, you were OK. So you were thinking too much if you were playing the right side or not. Anyway, you got the left side. Thank you, guys. Yeah. So now finish your practice properly. The prospect of a third Battle of Alberta in the first month of the season gets everybody's pre-game juices going. All I need is a felt pen, so, but hopefully today won't need it very often. <laughs> but when the puck drops, the Oilers' game inexplicably goes flat. Out, 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 out. cross ice. Here's a drive and a goal. It's a night where the Oilers seem to pay for every mistake. Turnover by Whitney, and coming the other way, Morrison, another breakaway, shoots! The goal line's on, counted as a shorthanded goal for the Calgary Flames. Boys, half a game here, guys, half a game, let's go! Their frustration finally boils over late in the second period. Now we've got a fight. Frazier has come out, and he wants a piece of Giordano. But so far, this night belongs to Calgary. Right body, but in tight on him, and now comes back with a left hand. When the going gets tough, it's time for the tough to get going. <laughs> 